that uh, uh, ZTE is one of the vendors, Chinese vendors that are uh, active in our market. They are doing business with Net One. They are doing business with uh, uh, Telecel, and uh, the uh, delegation that is here is being led by Dr. Zhao, who is the president uh, of uh, ZTE. He is the global leader of uh, ZTE. Uh, for those who are not in the know, ZTE uh, has emerged uh, in the last uh, decades, few decades, as one of the leading. ICT and telecoms companies in the world. Uh, they do, a, last year they had a turnover of 16 billion US dollars and their profitability is equally uh, very high. So they are in the country uh, looking at further investment opportunities and uh, we were very happy to host them as a ministry uh, to encourage them to look at uh, the opportunities that we have available in our country and also to look at the possibilities of investing in the uh, special economic zones where a very specific area within the special economic zones has been set, set up and reserved for ICT investments. So we're encouraging them to look into Zimbabwe as an investment opportunity and to enhance their cooperation with both the private sector in our country and government-owned companies in our country for the betterment of our people, creating employment as well as transferring technology and skills to our people. Now you can go ahead and ask them. <laughs> I mean, just a brief of your visit, what are your intentions, any prospects of investing in Zimbabwe? Right. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Uh, I'll, I'll be brief of your visit, like the Minister has explained, and uh, any prospects of ZTE setting up shop in Zimbabwe, what are your intentions and plans for Zimbabwe? Actually, at uh, ZTE we start our business 10 years before in Zimbabwe. And uh, now that uh, we keep a very good uh, cooperation with uh, private operators and also with the state-owned operators. Uh, it's my honor to have the meeting here, uh, to meet with the Honorable Minister and uh, uh, all the gen gentlemen and ladies here. Uh, so we got many, I think, that uh, new opportunity here. Uh, we understand today now some challenge uh, in Zimbabwe, but we think that it's just a short time uh, the issues. So we hope that, and also we believe that uh, we, with the effort of both sides, uh, we can find a very good way to solve this issue and to move forward. And uh, we, uh, today we also discussed many details about the project and the new opportunities in the future. Uh, so our both teams will sit together uh, to do the uh, detailed analysis and to give a, a good solution. Thank you. Roughly, how much are we looking at? You said new opportunities in Zimbabwe. What sort of figure are we looking at? Uh, I think that uh, uh, because you know, uh, now that uh, some uh, opportunity in the broadband optical and the uh, FTTX, and also the, uh, we think that uh, all the industry of ICT facing the new opportunity in 4G and 5G. Uh, so all these areas, I would think that the billions of dollars are the opportunity in the future. Uh, so that is we think that uh, we. BT will focus our resource uh, in Zimbabwe. Uh, we also understand that uh, Zimbabwe is very important uh, in the African continent. Uh, so for ZT, we always take uh, Zimbabwe as the one of the most important customer uh, for ZT group. And also, can you expect uh, any new project, uh, project in Zimbabwe? Yeah, now that we are doing um, many projects here, uh, for example, we are doing the, uh, the call network, the value and service in that one, and also we are doing the in some project in uh, Telcel, uh, Telcel for the mobile network. And also in Eclat, you also are our very important customer. Uh, so we are doing the uh, network modernization uh, for Eclat. Uh, so we are also uh, providing the ADSL uh, to uh, tel Telewan. Uh, so we think that we will expand our business here uh, with all these partners. Uh, I think one of the most important things to also um, uh, uh, put on the table is the discussion that we had, uh, which relates to uh, their very good ideas around a multi-vendor policy. Uh, because they have worked with the global uh, mobile companies around the world, like Vimpocom, who were in this market until government bought out their shareholding in Telesel, they have had experience working with networks who uh, implement a multi-vendor policy. A multi-vendor policy means that as a network, you don't just 
rely on one supplier. You don't just build your business on the basis of one technical supplier or one vendor. You have several of them. And when you have several of them, they compete for the business. They compete in terms of quality, they compete in terms of price, they compete in terms of service. At the end of the day, the beneficiary in terms of government-owned companies is actually the government because it makes profits. But more importantly, the beneficiary are the consumers, are the people of Zimbabwe who are actually using, <coughs> excuse me, who are using the services of uh, the networks that uh, will be uh, enjoying uh, multi-vendor policy uh, system. So uh, the delegation emphasized on uh, multi-vendor uh, system, and we are, as government, encouraged because that is the position that we had already taken, and that it is happening across the globe is very important that we, we pursue that. And I also want, must mention that uh, this is quite a huge visit uh, in its uh, 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 form because if you consider that this is a big company operating globally and to have their global leader, their president, visiting Zimbabwe where everybody, particularly the locals, think there are no opportunities and they are seeing opportunities. It might actually change your mindset to say there must be something we are not seeing in our country that is being seen by other people. So I'm very encouraged that we have such a high level visit by a global company looking at more investment in our country. And I must say that uh, two months ago, I also welcomed to this country the uh, rotating CEO of Huawei. So you can see that there's a lot of interest in our country by global companies that are in the ICT space. And we must uh, be encouraged that we have uh, a big delegation of ZTE coming as well, looking at the opportunities in our country. And we are committed as a country to uh, welcoming this kind of investment. For yeah. these and other stories, visit our website www.263chat.com. Follow us on Twitter at 263chat and like our Facebook page 263chat.